Hey, space geeks. Not space geese. Important to know, not space geese. That would be a weird episode. I'm here this week to talk to you about your home, actually to confront you about your home. It's dusty and it's suburban. You live about two thirds out of the way of the center of the Milky Way galaxy. Kind of good because if Earth was in the center of our Milky Way galaxy, we might die because it's very chaotic there. But it's really dusty where we live, which kind of sucks and isn't as good because we can't actually see where we live very much. We can't actually see our own home, the Milky Way galaxy. There's so much space dust and space gas in the way that we actually haven't really been able to see what our own galaxy looks like that well. You might be thinking to yourself, wait, no, I've seen the Milky Way galaxy. I've seen those beautiful photos showing where we live with a little cute you are here arrow on it. Those are real, aren't they? No, they're not real. They're actually artistic renderings. But there was that other photo that I saw that other time of the Milky Way galaxy. We actually haven't been able to get any images of our own Milky Way galaxy because we're not cool enough to have very cool space probes that can go to the outer edges of our galaxy and actually see what our own home looks like. We actually haven't been able to see what our galaxy in total looks like. So all of those pretty images that you've seen of our galaxy saying you are here are not real. But it's nothing to be sad about because we do have a really awesome space probe called the Spitzer Space Telescope, which can actually see past all the space dust and space gas and actually get beautiful images of our own Milky Way galaxy. So we don't necessarily need to hire an intergalactic cleaning service and have them clean up all the dust that's in our way. We can just use Spitzer, which uses infrared technology to peer past all the space dust and space gas and actually give us these gorgeous, beautiful images of what our own galaxy really looks like. These images are just amazing. They're gorgeous, beautiful, stunning, artistic, nebulous, pretty, really pretty images of our own galaxy. The Spitzer Space Telescope to me is one of the coolest telescopes out there. I was actually gushing about it a little while ago to NASA's Mohawk guy and he called me a space hipster and said that liking Spitzer is akin to liking Bon Iver, which I'm okay with. Being a space hipster is awesome. But while the Spitzer Space Telescope has done a lot of really awesome science for a number of years, a few years ago it ran out of liquid helium and had to stop doing awesome science for a small period of time. But thankfully in 2011 a bunch of space scientists came to the rescue and actually hacked Spitzer Space Telescope and turned it from being a photographer of our own Milky Way galaxy to becoming an exoplanet hunter, searching for planets among other stars in our galaxy. And actually just this week Spitzer Space Telescope was able to discover a exoplanet that was about 13,000 light years away, which is much farther than most of the exoplanets we've found lately. The Kepler spacecraft has been able to find a ton of exoplanets, over a thousand or so, but a lot of them are pretty close to home, so they're kind of like our suburban neighbors in a sense. But the Spitzer Space Telescope was able to find a gas giant that's 13,000 light years away and was able to determine the distance to it from teaming up with an observatory in Chile and together they used parallax to find the distance to that exoplanet. So to me, the Spitzer Space Telescope is really awesome and I'm perfectly okay with being a space hipster and I hope all of you are too. Hey Space Cadets, if you liked this video and you want to see more of it because you like geeking out with me and other people about space exploration, remember to give it a thumbs up on YouTube, subscribe to the channel so that you don't have to work so hard to find the video, and actually there's a Patreon campaign going on to support having more dorks like me give you funny, silly, awkward videos about space exploration every week, so go do that.